Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at CKB Next. It's an RBG driver and much more for Corsair keyboards. It's really awesome. It does have a Fedora repo. If you need to install it, we can literally just do this. Uh, sudo dnf install ck... What is it called again? CKB Next. Oh my... It's hard to remember some things, okay? Oh, give me hate for it. It's just who I am. It will automatically start the daemon, which is nice. So, pretty much, it should just run out of the box for you. As long as you, uh... You have your keyboard set in a certain mode where it can pick everything up. So, just give it one second. Looks like they just released version 0.6.0. Uh, .0. And it should start up any second now. For me, I might keep... Are you going to pick up? Thank you. So, here's your settings, your hardware. Your, this is your frame rate. So, if you want 60, uh, you could do 60. 60 so smooth. And you could use this for extra resolution when it comes to colors. And honestly, it works. It's pretty cool. I like it. You can hide your system mic on. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And you go in here, you can customize the colors of your keyboard to whatever you want. You can add new effects, you know, do anything really. I can go to my hardware profile if I need to, and I can start changing things. Like, I don't like the fact that it's red, but I do have these three keys in white and these as well. And you can do that. You can change the colors to these to purple. And it works, which is nice. But my keyboard's aging, which is annoying. So it's not really that bright no more. So that's why I tend to keep them white. But, you know, for today, we'll mess around. And... That's blue. I need purple. There we go. Select that. Yep. There's an unfortunate effect where this key right here is green. And the X key down here is also green. Which is really odd. And I think it means there's something wrong initially with the keyboard. Because this keyboard is old. It's been through hell, by the way. So if I do this and I change the color to blue. Yeah, those keys are still green. Including this one right here. This is still green. I don't like blue very much. So actually, I am going to be completely boring. And change the whole keyboard to white. Also, the A key right here is stuck purple. So I don't know how to deal with the stuck colors personally. You're not going to have this issue. I have this issue, and I'm going to hit save to hardware. Uh, but I am going to just change these real quick to purple. Yeah, because I want a little bit of purple. Because I have like... Oh, actually, I have more broken keys. So F2 and... F11, once again, this is my issue, not yours, is also purple. That's so weird. I wonder what causes this. It's probably just some weird burnout or something. Anyway, there's key bindings, so you can change your key layouts to whatever you need to change them to. Uh, I would totally initiate this and run through everything for typing, binding, and all of that, but uh, you can't make me. <laughs> and you got indicators of brightness and so on. So there's a key for brightness, and it's completely stuck. I thought I cleaned this thing. Basically, the lower your brightness, the different the colors, you know? You can lock the lights on whatever you want. And I'm going to just do this. I don't know. There we go. So I just changed the... So if I hit numpad it's now green instead of you know the normal color and off is clearly black so there's that which is nice and devices you can check for updates i'm never probably ever going to get a uh firmware update ever again but you know you got your polling rate and stuff in here which is nice so that's it uh that is 
the program in a nutshell it's pretty good it works overall i really do like it and uh you might like it too you'll find it in the description below remember the command to install it i showed you right there i'll also put that in the description if i remember don't forget to subscribe uh hit the like button we just reached 25,000 subscribers my goal is 30 for this year hopefully we'll get over that but if we don't as long as we reach it i am happy so uh help me out here you stop by don't forget to subscribe we do lots of cool linux things and cover emulation from time to time and i'll see you guys next time